Hello, I am Yuri Flair, better known as Luos, and in this video I'm going to show a material function, a debug material function for special effects, VFX. And it was inspired by Chris, who uh, posted some of his debug textures on realtimevfx.com. And I thought, this is handy, but why not speed up the process for people using Unreal Engine? So I made a material out of it, material function. This is the material function. I'm going to show you real quick what it does just allows you to switch between a, a few debug textures and some different setups to quickly iterate on some things. And this is the material instance in which you'll see all those functions. It has its own group called VFX Debug. And generally you'll see this texture, the one that you applied or whatever is going through the material function. If you change this value to one, you'll see a different debug texture. You can go to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. And there are also additional things you can change, but I'll show that later on another mesh. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show that now on another mesh, why not? I'm gonna show this mesh that I once made. It's a bit odd because the normals are inverted for this specific one. And as you can see, this is the layout. And I'm gonna just go over different debug textures to and the way they look. Some of them uh, are actually better used for things unlike this. For instance, I think it's number seven and eight, nay no, seven and six that might not look all too well. Actually, it's quite fine. And additionally, you have a UV channel option. And if you change that, you change the UV. So zero is the regular first UV channel. One is the second UV channel and so on. Though you won't probably see them in here because this mesh only has uh, two UV channels. But as you can see, the difference between this one and that one. So you can easily test and see how something is laid out. So I'm going to go over the other textures again. And as you can see, number six and seven might look up because those are tend to work better on uh, smaller different effects and different channels. Uh, okay, so what else do we have? We can change Basically, we have an option here to scale from center, and this will allow you to test something that's and changing UVs from the center off. So, as you can see, the center is always the same, and you can up tweak and change the UV scales there. Additionally, if you need to offset them, there's a mover, so you can move them about to see some specific things. Okay, let me reset those real quick. And let's disable the scale from center. And as you, there will be some changes at the, now because as, now it will scale normally from zero to one. And that might work better for things like uh, swipes or as some people call them solo coasters. And you can also move them about. And that goes for every texture, of course. And again, you can change the UV channel and Play around with other things. And as you can see, it might also help with maybe getting some nice ideas going on. All right, let me reset those real quick and show you how to install it into a project. There's a download link on the real time VFX forums. Now, if you downloaded the zip file, you'll get a debug folder and a readme.txt. Definitely read the readme.txt. If you want to place it in the right folder, just go to the project you're working on, right click on the content folder, go to show in explorer and it will give you the right folder where you should put in the debug folder. Let me grab the zip file, drag and drop the debug folder and it should appear in here as well. There we go. That's the material function, the material and the textures. Now the material is mainly just for showcasing it. So you can just go to the debug example and you'll see an error. <clears throat> and that's because you'll you have to add whatever texture in there that you have and now it will work. Save it and if you go to the material instance, it will work again, as you can see. Two, three, etc. Now let's show this really quick on how to use this on a particle effect. I'm gonna grab a random material real quick, uh, the sparks one. I'm gonna right mouse click, write VFX. Press enter because that's the only VFX material function that I have in here. Connect the wires. 
and it should work. Definitely remove it before you're making it final, of course. But now if I make a material instance out of this one, and I already have one over here, you can see the effect again, and you can easily enable the debug by writing one, two, etc. Now let's show this on the mesh. It's not the perfect mesh for this example, but it's the only one that I have in here. Uh, static meshes, where are you? Meshes. There we go. And click on the teapot. Now if I write one, two, three, etc., you can definitely see how it's aligned in the UV map, that kind of thing. So that's what basically it's for. All right, I think that's it. Hopefully you find this handy and thank you to Chris and Tharla FX for the textures. And take care. Bye-bye.